Wednesday, the uh, 24th of April. This is your Frontier uh, opening bell, everyone. Let, let's get the show started, just getting you a feel of how the markets finished off on, on the African continent for uh, uh, Tuesday. Of course, the Nigerian market was, was down. Two sessions uh, was down uh, yesterday, 0.35% after a blip of about 13 basis points that we saw on, on Monday. Uh, then, of course, you, we've got the uh, Kenyan stock market uh, up by 0.32% as well. The South African uh, GSC was up by 0.63%. The shares of Capitec Bank was up very strongly yesterday, roughly one3 a billion rand of shares of the bank was uh, traded after its uh, uh, robust earnings for last year was released to the market. The BRVM was uh, uh, was up by 0.35 uh, percent, while the Egyptian market uh, continued in the negative territory since uh, Monday started, wiping off uh, some gentle gains that it made earlier on Sunday when the market uh, opened for the week in, in Cairo. You've got about two more sessions to watch this week until Thursday tomorrow uh, in, in Cairo. That's just uh, touching on the uh, Pan-African uh, equities market with Zimbabwe also yesterday making some some gains as well. The Ghana stock market remain uh, flattish. Let me walk you through some of the headlines in, in East Africa as we get into the third business and market day for the week here on Frontier uh, opening bell. If you look at the East Africa, the news out of uh, a report by Puma was that the continent will need roughly $10 billion uh, to expand its fuel uh, infrastructure. And that means you're looking at seaports, you're looking at pipelines and other infrastructure that are, that are needed to uh, provide efficient supply of fuel across the continent. Uh, if you look at the problem the issue between Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya, as far as the uh, supply of fuel is concerned, coming from the Mombasa seaport, all of that uh, in, in play. The Grand World Investment Holdings says it's interested in investment in Ethiopia, the most populous and the liar, one of the largest economy in, in the Horn of Africa. And uh, uh, good news that the traders uh, and the government in Uganda have uh, resolved their the face of uh, the businesses uh, and cities and some towns in Uganda were closed for a couple of days protesting the uh, increase in government tax as well as the method of uh, revenue collection by the government uh, revenue authority. Kigali Airport, that's very interesting. Uh, came in, news came in yesterday through a new ranking pushing the Jomoke Yata International Airport off its position by two notches. The JKIA is now number 10 on the list why Rwanda has taken the eighth position. Let the competition continue for the best airport infrastructure in East Africa and across the African continent as a whole. Let me take this straight to West Africa, where yesterday the head of the uh, Chetan Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, Ken Opara, says that the, the Institute, the Nigerian Exchange, had met together and had a working plan submitted to the Central Bank of Nigeria to support the latest round of uh, bank recapitalization, which was announced last month. That will be a 24-month program. The deadline is at the end of this month for all banks to submit their proposals to the financial regulator. In the meantime, Nigeria's former aviation the minister, Heidi Sirica, has been arrested by the Anti-Graph Commission, the EFCC. That's according to some news late yesterday evening. Uh, he was arrested in connection with the Air Nigeria project, which was a major controversial one during the President uh, Muhammad Buhari's administration. Moody's released a report on Tuesday that central bank digital currencies, what you call the CBDC, will continue to expand rapidly. The adoption, according to Moody's ratings, will continue for the next three to five years. And the IMF uh, has defended the decision to use the IMF common framework for the debt restructuring that was recently done on negotiations, recently done with foreign uh, uh, bondholders, where the head of the EFDB, uh, Akumi Adishina, is currently on a two-day working visit to Brazil to uh, uh, support, to look for investment support for Africa and those interventions that the EFDB do across the continent. Let's move on to Southern Africa. And Capitec Bank uh, earnings was big yesterday. 7.79% the share moved up. Roughly 620,000 units of the uh, shares of the company was traded. Uh, the company reported a profit of about 16% uh, on a four-year-on-year basis. And then earnings per share was about 9,170 uh, South African rand. The SRB, however, under the Cesar Kergango says he's expecting inflation to reach its target in the third quarter of 2023, and that's part of the latest monetary policy review document that was presented yesterday by Kergango and the chief economist of the Reserve Bank. In the meantime, Zimbabwe Stock Exchange says the 
the gain so far made by the Zimbabwe uh, main boss has not been wiped out due to uh, the introduction of the Z currency. Simply means a rebasing of the index, but at the exchange is still very robustly in the positive territory as far as the 2024 year is concerned. And China has a uh, written of Zimbabwe's interest free loans, and there's some good news that President Emerson and and his team uh, could really use. And talks are currently ongoing in Durban in South Africa around the Niamey Action Plan for Africa's industrialization. Uh, the program continues for the next one or two days. Today we're also seeing the formal takeoff of the Namibia International Energy Conference being attended by some of the biggest names on the African continent, including the African Energy Chairman. The session is currently on today to, to tomorrow. Uh, so let's uh, sum it all up in North Africa, bringing you some of the biggest headlines north of the continent as we get uh, today's uh, market and uh, business started. The EFC, the Africa Finance Corporation, uh, says he has joined the $20 billion ex-linked Morocco-UK uh, power project. The idea is to provide uh, is to make renewable energy across the UK using on the sea cables across the, the Mediterranean and the English Channel uh, straight to the United Kingdom for Morocco is a very big project. Uh, and, and the Africa Finance Corporation is uh, pitching into that project. Uh, Egypt is exploring Chinese investment for new uh, Alamein free zone. Uh, that is one good news while the the stock market in Egypt, the Cairo stock market, is in a bit of a correction and uh, heading towards 26,000 uh, a level. And uh, Morocco was reported this core inflation uh, a little bit steady for the month of March, that's below 2%, one of the lowest uh, across uh, frontier Africa economies, by the way. And finally, he actually reported that his industrial production was up about uh, 5%. Uh, in 2023 uh, financial year. And, and those are some of the uh, headlines that we've got for you this Wednesday, the 24th April. Have a great day, everyone. We're back tomorrow on the show.